Fox 34 News at 9 Sports starts now. What's up, Wiregrass? Thank you all for tuning in with us tonight. Week one of college football season is officially in the books, and it didn't take long for the Alabama Crimson Tide to earn some brand new hardware for its trophy case. The team walked away with week from week one with a dominating victory over the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, and now two members of the Tide are also walking into week two with some conference honors. The first week of conference awards is going to the Tide's newcomers. Alabama freshman receiver Ryan Williams has been named SEC co-freshman of the week after breaking out to the college football world with an amazing performance. During the team's win, Williams was able to haul in nearly 150 receiving yards and two touchdowns on just two catches. But a member of the defense also got shown some love as transfer safety Keon Sab was named the conference's defensive player of the week. The former Michigan Wolverine made his mark early on after snatching two first half interceptions. While the last week is certainly something to cheer for for Tide fans, Alabama has another challenge ahead of them in the USF Bulls. Now I know what some of you are thinking, Jess, it's just USF. What does Alabama have to be afraid of? Well, let me remind you, this is the same USF team that nearly pulled off one of the biggest upsets last season. In that game, quarterback Jalen Milrow did not play a single snap due to being benched after a poor performance against the Texas Longhorns the week prior. During last year's game, the offense struggled to get just about anything going their way as the team cycled through two different QBs and still just barely managed to throw for over 100 yards. While head coach Kalen DeBoer was not part of last year's debacle, he knows not to overlook this USF program. You know, reminding them that it was a closer game and, uh, you know, that falls in line with what one of our pieces of our program is to respect all and fear none. And so that respect factor was there this last week. It's going to be there again this week. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that there are certain guys that went through that as you're as you're suggesting that, uh, you know, uh, ha have that a different type of determination on top of what we're trying to do with this 2024 team. But I think we're really trying to make it about this season, this team and uh, trying to take the next steps that are necessary here going into week two. It's a battle between the jungle's most feared going up against the forest's most feared. Fresh off a 70-point victory against the Alabama A&M Bulldogs, the Auburn Tigers now shift their focus to their next opponent, the California Golden Bears. The last time these two squads faced off against each other, it was Auburn who squeaked by with a four-point win. But this Auburn offense is coming different this year, showing off their ability to make multiple explosive plays. But for Hugh Freeze, he knows the key to winning this upcoming game starts off with the big guys up front. Yeah, we rotated a lot of guys in there and um, thought they were solid against the run. Um, we didn't um, crush the pocket quite as well. We didn't 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 call too many pressures really early on, and they were getting rid of the ball pretty fast, so it wasn't as bad as maybe I felt uh, post game. We've got some improving to do. Um, we can't panic and and get so handsy. Um, be patient. Stay in your technique and and then go play the ball and that's a look at sports we'll be right back after this